Morning, Steve Free in Chicago with the morning grain comments. Markets overnight are mixed. Uh, beans down about a penny. Corn up three cents. Wheat up six cents. Overnight news, uh, there was some economic data out of China that was better than expected. It's allowing commodity prices to move higher and dollar prices to move lower. There was also a report out of the UN uh, Food Ag Organization that said that 2013 uh, food world prices might go down and at least be calmer than 2012. Uh, that probably <clears throat> has a lot of bearing on what kind of weather we're going to have. Uh, weekly export sales were uh, again on the timid side. Um, I think that uh, we're seeing uh, uh, the natural transfer of demand from beans from U.S. to South America on, on, to begin uh, slowly. Uh, still not a lot of demand for corn, although we are competitive and there is talk that China might import some corn. And we are competitive in the wheat, especially soft red winter wheat, and there's talk of Egypt tender and maybe even China might buy some imported wheat. That's probably helping those markets. Uh, tomorrow we've got the USDA January report. It's at 11 o'clock, not at 7.30. Again, they'll give us final 2012 U.S. corn and soybean productions. They'll give us these one stocks of corn, soybeans, and wheat here in the United States. They'll also give us new supply and demands, both U.S. and world, and finally, their first estimate of 2013 U.S. winter wheat acres. From a weather standpoint, we did see rain in Texas, Oklahoma, and parts of eastern Kansas. This front's now moving east. Uh, the outlook is uh, mostly dry and cooler. Down in South America, Argentina is beginning to dry out a little bit. <clears throat> we'll have to watch that. But Brazil weather is okay. Again, these are my thoughts and not those of ADM or ADM Investor Services. And have a safe and profitable trading day.